aiming to protect and develop the identity, tradition, culture and religion of Karaims, this association has some publishings too. If I ever forget you, Jerusalem, and to hold you in my right arm, let me become speechless if I don't miss you, if I don't treasure you the most. To regenerate and to protect the language is important. Today, since only old people can speak this language literally, there aren't any young and competent educators who can teach it. So we cannot open language schools. But in 2002, with the support of TIKA, Turkish International Cooperation and Development Agency, prayer handbooks in Russian and Karaim were published. This is Balta Timas Cemetery, which is the oldest Turkic cemetery in Europe. Balta Timas means first growth forest in Turkish. As you can see, there are beech trees in the cemetery and we pray to those trees. Each lineage has a holy beech tree. Our lineage has one too. We go there and pray to it, but without showing off. Since these are the holy trees, it's forbidden even to break their branches. Circles drawn at the bottom of the trees represent the sun. There is nothing older than this, and the thoughts of all our people focus on here. This is our sanctuary. Visitors come here every day. The young people from Ethnic Cultural Center called Kale often came and cleaned this cemetery. The writings are in old biblical language, which is the language of God. The engravings on the gravestones have been written in solar style and they belong to all Turkic nations. Famous traveler Evliya Celebi has written a lot about this cemetery. Turtle towards the west has continued for centuries, and this migration has expanded up to Lithuania in the 14th century. The Grand Duke of Lithuania, by Staustas during his military expedition to the Golden Hordel between 1397 and 1398, has brought around 500 Crimean Karais and their families and around 3 to 4,000 Tatars to Lithuania and made them palace guards. There are two small Turkic colonies in Lithuania, Karai Turks and Tatar Turks. Getting along well with Lithuanian people, they have preserved their national identity throughout history. The Karais have settled to Trakai, and they have been engaged in farming and other jobs besides being palace guards. This small Karaim colony could preserve their own faith and their language, which was a dialect of Kipchak Turkic only up till the beginning of the 20th century. Under the Soviet rule, they couldn't fulfill their religious duties, they were dispossessed of their lands and a press group had to disperse. So the absorption of the culture and the language by younger generations was interrupted for 40 years. They speak Karaim language, but not very well. The youngsters don't speak, but they understand us when they grow up. They understand Karaim, but cannot speak it. They speak Lithuanian, Slavic language and Polish. They understand, but little children couldn't learn it, because it wasn't possible to learn it in Bolshevik era. 
They couldn't go to their chapel, Kineza, to perform their religious duties either. At Karim, they have come centuries ago, only 250 have been left today. Trekai city doesn't offer employment opportunities. Most of the Karaims went to Vilnius. They dispersed around various places in Poland. There are only 250 of us left now in all Lithuania. A few hundreds of Karaims live in Poland. To prepare kubun, first we put flour in a bowl and then add eggs, butter, salt, milk, clotted cream of milk. We mix all of them and after kneading dough, we wait for it to be fermented. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we prepare the stuffing. We carve the meat, mm -hmm. add onion, black pepper, salt, water, and some green vegetables. Then we blend them all. We take small pieces of dough and roll out them. After putting the stuffing on them, we close the dough in the form of a crescent. We make two holes on each of them, and then we put them into the oven to be baked. The Karaims, who've come from Crimea to defend the Lithuanian castle, have been living in Trakai for about 600 years. Being one of the national minorities of Lithuania, this colony shows a great effort to revive, to maintain and protect its culture and language.